I work in adult education services and there's really two parts to our department. One is adult ed where students are prepared for their GED or HSED and then the other part of our department is our English language learning department and that's for our community members who are needing to learn English. We have so much to offer people who are here as newcomers or even people who've been here for a number of years but just don't feel like they have the skills that they need to do what they want in our community. First I moved here it was difficult for me because uh, my English uh, isn't good enough and I came to no country, so food and I feel like lonely and miss my hometown a lot. It's hard to speak English, never, nothing, <laughs> zero, so very much hard. Yes, yeah, very hard, the English is very hard for me. I sense their frustration in knowing that they're capable of saying so much more. I have never learned English in China. Then I moved here, I was 48 years old. I cannot speak any English. They're either here to improve their language so that they can be comfortable in the community. Other students have employment as their goal, so we help them with job preparation. And then many of our students are looking to attend college. When I came here, uh, I already learned English from my country, but usually we learn grammar a lot and writing, but usually not speaking a lot. So we learn the accent is different from here. We really have students from all different ability levels and we have what they need to be able to gain those skills. We can start wherever their abilities are and we can just build on, on what those are. Sometimes we start with a picture dictionary and just start by identifying nouns. Different books, different uh, names of foods, uh, different um, person names, different people, different cultures pretty quickly they are putting together sentences and they're learning to talk and read and it's it's a pretty miraculous process. We do activity on the class, improve my English skill uh, vocabulary. We try to do as much hands-on as we can because it's just more fun and more interesting and it sticks with you longer. Every fall we go to one of the state capitals. We also try to do things in the community, go to a bank or a clinic. We've been to Beaver Creek, Irvine Park. We have guest speakers come in and talk. We also offer a winter driving class. In the summer, we offer swimming lessons to our students. And we just try to get to know the community and help the students find what some of the activities are that they can enjoy with their families. Our ELL students together with our international students and our multicultural students here at the college worked together and put on this just incredible fair. The yellow ones from Africa. And it's just really rewarding to help them find their words. I'm a writer in China. So I said, oh, that's a teacher so nice. She asked me what is my dream. I said, my dream is maybe five years later. I can write articles in English. So the last year, I tried to write articles in English and published in local magazine, our Oakland local magazine. It really empowers people to be able to carry on with the life that they have been dreaming of and pursue what they came here for. I can hear some people talking English. I understand. and. Uh, about my pronunciation. So I talking to some people, they understand what me talking. So I feel very good. It helps people be able to provide for themselves and take care of themselves to be able to navigate and operate in our culture. Now I can go shopping by myself. Now I'm driving. So I feel uh, better in the past and more confident. I am very Thankful, grateful for the teachers, for the school, for everything. I tell people all the time, I'm sure I have the best job at the college yeah. because it's just, it's so exciting to meet new people all the time from all over the world. Thank you so much for my teacher for, for helping me to, uh, to improve my English and be my friend. <laughs> Wonderful students. <laughs> the classes are free and um, we have textbooks for our students and we have a scholarship program that allows them to pay whatever they can afford 
uh, towards their book and the scholarship will pay the remainder of that. To get started, students would call or come in and set up an orientation appointment. It's about a four hour long process where students will be tested in reading and writing so that we can make sure that we're placing them in the correct class and that we're beginning them with the materials that'll be most effective for them. The Business Education Center is located on Claremont Avenue. We're right across the footbridge from the parking lot. We have two classrooms, 109 and 110, and people can stop by any time. 如果你想学习英语，你一定要来到CVTC. Llevo aquí un año y seis meses, y estudiar en CVTC ha sido una gran experiencia para mí. La ayuda de los maestros ha sido excelente. Han tenido, he tenido el apoyo, toda la dedicación y la ayuda de cada una de las maestras. Ya he tenido cosas, todo cada día, yo he cogido cada día, yo lo he cogido CBTC, lo he cogido EL, yo he cogido lo he cogido, o para ver yo mon lo he cogido hay nen, o todo todo lo de todo es para lo he cogido cada día, todo cada día, todo cada día. Chao, chao. Adiós. Gracias. Ocho no da, don't you say hi? Thank you so much for your time to listen. Bye.